What's up guys, Intense Investor here coming at you again. Remember I told you pre-search was going to blast off. It was one of the better projects with a lot of utility, great team behind it, and all of crypto. Past couple days, it's been launching to the moon. It actually topped 12 cents. I'm on here on uh, CoinMarketCap. You can see where it hit just over 12 cents there on uh, the other day, a little bit ago. So it's doing awesome. Remember, I got about 50 pre-search nodes with over 144,000 pre-search staked. So I'm gonna take a look at that again. Remember, I've made some previous videos on how to set up these nodes. So I wanna go over that with you guys one more time. I figured I could shorten this up a little bit, just show you guys you know, the basics of it, just so you got that down. And uh, it's a really easy process. Uh, I'm going to lay it out really simple here and really quickly. So uh, with that said, uh, check out Presearch. Great project. Can't say it enough. Great team. Great utility. I mean, it's a search engine, right? There's over 80,000 nodes with Presearch staked on them right now running this search engine. It's decentralized, right? It's not like Google, Google where you got all your data on a centralized server. Uh, somewhere out in the middle of nowhere nobody knows about uh, this is split up amongst you know all the nodes all the locations so high in privacy you know it's also very secure and uh, they're also exploring artificial intelligence quite a bit as well so let's get into it guys here we are on the pre-search dashboard you can see i got 144,000 pre-search tokens staked across these 50 nodes that i have i'm currently making between 200 and 250 pre-search tokens per day so if we say 250 times let's just say 12 cents what it got up to you know it's about what 30 bucks a day times 365 about $10,950 a year, right? So there's a very high chance this could easily go to a dollar. So that'd be, you know, at $30, or wait a minute, $250 times a dollar, that's a dollar times $365. That'd be like $91,000 a year, which is pretty freaking crazy if you ask me, but it could totally happen. Um, so you know that's why i want to invest in pre-search it's a great investment opportunity you only need four thousand pre-search tokens per node it used to be a thousand when it started I, I was in early so i got grandfathered in then any new nodes after that it was two thousand pre-search tokens you needed per node now it's four thousand pre-search tokens you need so I like to get my pre-search tokens from KuCoin. That's where I purchase them. And then I send them to my wallet address here on uh, pre-search. That's kind of how I do it. But as you can see, um, all the little green plugs means all my nodes are active. If you don't see the little plug in, it means they're not connected, right? So you have to set this up. Um, you can use, uh, well, I use Linux VPSs through Rack Nerds, which is a VPS company. Um, they got all kinds of uh, products you can buy, but I like to use their cheap Linux VPS. It's about $22 a year. Uh, I have had this deal where you can get them for about like $10.28 a year. It's through my website. I would keep an eye uh, on the stuff I put on my website under the deals page to see if you can get those deals because ten dollars a year is pretty cheap uh the pre-search nodes they all seem to run really well on the rack nerds uh vps's so uh keep that in mind okay so like i said check out my website it's intenseinvestor.com forward slash deals if you scroll down you'll see these deals still working for ten dollars 28 year uh, 768 megabyte KVM Linux VPS with one CPU core uh, works really good I'm using these same ones if none of these deals ever work you can always use intense investor 
and get 30% off any Windows or KVM Linux VPS. So I got a deal with them, uh, Intense Investor. If you use that in the promo code, you can get that deal. So basically you would just go in here if these don't work. Um, there should be a promo code you can put in. Let's see, like if you hit continue. Yeah, so there's a promo right here. You can put in Intense Investor. So the promotion code is still good, but since the 1028 deal still applies, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, but that's a heck of a deal because I know Contabo uh, and what is it, Vulture? Is that it? Um, those two are quite a bit higher when I check the prices for VPSs, similar VPSs. So keep that in mind. When you do get one of these VPSs, they're going to send you a username and password, which you're going to have to put in this program called Putty, which allows you to interface with the Linux VPS. And that's how you set up the pre-search node, right? There's a couple pieces of code you have to run, which I'm going to show you. Uh, it's pretty easy. You run that and then uh, it connects and it's set up. That's pretty much it. The pre-search nodes are really fairly easy to set up in my opinion. So you can download Putty off of putty.org. It's a Windows program that interfaces with Linux. I don't use Macintosh or Apple, so I don't know about that. Uh, I'm using 64-bit version of Windows installer, so that's what I downloaded, this first one right here. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I like to say that a lot. Keep it in mind, right? So guys, when you get that IP address and password from Rack Nerds after you buy the VPS using the deal that I showed you, you're going to want to put that in here and you're going to hit open. So the email you get from Rag Nerds is going to look something like this. You'll see this uh, root password and you'll see the IP address. So you copy the IP address. You put it here into Putty, right? Make sure you install Putty first and you can run it. Then you can put the IP address in, hit open. And then the login, we're going to log in as root. And then the password, we're going to copy and paste that password from the email, right? So you're going to right click. When you right click, it's going to paste, but you're not going to see it, right? So that's a little bit odd to some people. But in Linux, it's there. Uh, or in this program, Putty, that's just how it works. You're not going to see the password, which I think that's just for security. You hit enter. And then give it a little bit. It'll tell you uh, last login was November 7th, 2022 uh, from my IP address. So guys, this is super, super simple. I have these commands right here. They're also on my website. If you go to this web page, let's see here. I'm going to show you how you can easily access this information. So if you go to how to set up a pre-search node, you'll see the same code that I got in this WordPad that you copy and paste. And this was updated 11, 20, 20, 22. So it's fairly new. I got it step by step process. So when you get down to where you got to enter your IP address, you know, it goes through entering uh, root for the username and then the password that you got from rag nerds. So when you go on down, you're going to copy this code for initial node setup, but you need to make sure that you enter your registration code that is on the pre-search dashboard and that's right here i'm not going to take the eye thing off of it but you'll want to copy this and then you're going to paste it part of that code right and you also want to replace that dollar sign don't leave the dollar sign on there or you'll have a mess up so once you do that there's a research uh pre-search registration code once you do that You'll see the node setting up. It'll download any packages that it needs in order to run effectively and efficiently. 
and when it gets through that you're gonna see the blue P the blue P is gonna come up so just keep that in mind like I said always keep that in mind <laughs> but like I said 4,000 pre-search node I mean tokens in order to set up a node right I got 50 nodes running now everything is running good uh, should anything happen to your node I also got this repair code that you can run copy paste it you'll log into your node using putty first you're gonna copy it paste it and then it'll say everything's okay so anyway that's why I made this web page where you could uh, reference this on how to set up these nodes really helpful try to put everything in one easy to read uh, guide but that's really it like I said I buy the pre-search tokens on KuCoin and you have to go here to transfer pre so when you buy the tokens on KuCoin you're gonna transfer from the blockchain right so you're gonna click that you're going to have to copy this address. You can see where I've transferred quite a bit, uh, you know, the past year or two going back to 2021. So you transfer those to your pre-search address. So this is an Ethereum blockchain address. Pre-search is on Ethereum blockchain. I think they are going to have their own mainnet blockchain in the future, but until then it's on Ethereum. So you copy your Ethereum address. You log into your KuCoin account. Uh, you can also get these off Uniswap, I believe. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, you can get them off KuCoin, Uniswap. It's also, there's actually a lot of liquidity on Uniswap, a good bit. So, KuCoin's got the most trading going on. You also got BTC pairs there. I just think KuCoin, you know, I already got an account, so it's easy for me to go in there and uh, buy it and transfer it over so that's what I do but uh, like I said you can copy paste it into your KuCoin uh, address and this is the address that will receive your pre-search coins wherever you get you get them from whether it's Uniswap or KuCoin right but just make sure you don't send it to the wrong address because you'll be hurting if you do and you're going to be upset. So always double, triple check these addresses. If you're sending it from, you know, like I said, KuCoin Uniswap to here, just make sure you enter the right address and everything should go well. Give it a couple minutes. Takes a little bit of time sometimes, but it should come up and you won't have any problems, right? So guys, that's really all I got on this. Uh, check out my previous videos about how to set up these pre-search nodes. And also this one where I just did like a quick summary of what you need to do to set them up. Hopefully that helped. You can always leave a comment if you got any troubles or you got any questions you want to ask me about the process. I'll be happy to answer you as quickly as possible. But uh, that's really all I got for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Lots of the viewers do not uh, subscribe, like 75%. So it helps me. It helps the YouTube algorithm. If you like, subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thanks for the love and support. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you.